Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. We got some great news when it comes to Pokemon restocks and reprints that are going to be hitting store shelves over the next couple of months. And stores are also starting to get allocation numbers for the Pokemon 151 set. And honestly, this is really good news. It looks like there's going to be a healthy number of allocations. So I don't expect any of these products to really sell out. So we're gonna be talking about that and more in today's video. The first big piece of reprint and restock news is that Brilliant Stars and Lost Origins are seeing major restocks on store shelves. Over the course of the next couple months, you should be able to find Brilliant Stars booster boxes at retail price, and Lost Origin is gonna be hitting shelves right after that. So a lot of these sets that are incredibly popular with really cool chase cards like the Giratina V and the Charizard Vs are gonna start to come down in value, especially when it comes to the trainer galleries that are inside of these sets because they are still bonkers good when it comes to Pokemon card collecting. And I do think long-term the trainer gallery cards are gonna become the next big collectibles Right after the alt art generations, I think it's really obvious that the trainer gallery cards are gonna be some of the best looking cards into the future, and they are still some of the most affordable cards to collect. You can easily get yourself a really cool trainer gallery collection for pennies on the dollars. There are so many cards inside of these sets that are still under a dollar, which is great because you can get yourself a gorgeous collection for a couple of bucks. Next up, we're gonna talk about Pokemon 151 and the allocation numbers, which are really healthy. A lot of local game stores are already seeing the amount of stocks that they are gonna have available for this upcoming set. And it generally looks like there's gonna be a ton of the ultra premium collection, as well as a lot of the other products like the ETBs. Stores are able to get as much as hundreds of ETBs for their shops, which is really good news because this set is incredibly popular. A lot of people are really excited about Pokemon 151. It is a decent sized set and it looks to be a lot of fun to open. Even the commons and uncommons are exciting to pull just because you're seeing fan favorite Pokemons again and again. If you're excited about Pokemon 151 and you want to put in a pre-order for the Ultra Premium Collection through your local card shop or through a major retailer, places like GameStop, Walmart, Target, and Best Buy over here in the United States are already starting to have pre-orders available for people to put in and you can definitely do that. There is absolutely no shame in putting in a pre-order at MSRP. However, if you are looking to pick up any of these products and you're willing to go above MSRP, I would highly discourage that just because these allocation numbers look really strong. I mean, over the course of the last two years, we have seen very few Pokemon card products that have actually truly gone out of stock. Even today, you can still find products from two years ago or older still on store shelves. On the Pokemon Center website, I was able to find Fusion Strike, which is still readily available. And my goodness, Shining Fates, which is a special set that came out over two years ago, is still available on store shelves today. So if you're someone that's excited about this set, great, put in some pre-orders, but I would highly discourage you do not try to purchase products from this set now, especially for exorbitant prices that are above MSRP. I am super confident that Pokemon 151 is going to be readily available. I mean, just look at last year, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, which is probably the most hyped English product last year, is still not sold out. They still have a ton of supplies of Charizard Ultra Premium Collections. You can find these from local card shop going for 80 bucks, which is significantly below MSRP. And I think the Pokemon company has in general learned their lesson when it comes to allocation. They're willing to have a lot more products readily available, especially on the English and international side. We have seen very, very few products that have truly risen in value immediately or have truly gone out of stock. The Pokemon company is doing a really good job of keeping supplies coming and coming so that any set that has come out over the past two years has continuously stayed at retail price. Like I said, Fusion Strike, Shining Fates, Chilling Rain, all these older sets that are around two years old are still 
readily available. The one exception to that, and people are gonna call out on that, is Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies is currently well above MSRP, and that just means the Pokemon company can restock and reprint it at any given time they want. I mean, it's practically printing free money. If there's demand available, I don't see why the Pokemon company would not reprint and restock to Evolving Skies. If you wanna pick up an Evolving Skies booster box right now, that's a huge risk, but if you have that money available, maybe you're willing to take that risk because long term, they may never reprint Evolving Skies again and it goes up in value. But as of right now, I would say Evolving Skies is at the heaviest risk of being reprinted since it's still in competitive play and it's so heavily overpriced that I don't see why the Pokemon company would not reprint Evolving Skies unless they just hate money. My philosophy is if a product is around two years old, that's when I really start thinking about whether I wanna pick it up long term or not. So let's look at some products that are actually two years old right now, which are things like Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, Celebrations. Those are some products that are starting to reach that two year mark when it comes to price point. Evolving Skies is a part of that as well. But in general, if you are on the market and you're someone that's really excited about Pokemon card collecting long term, I would say still wait two years. I think in two years time, Pokemon 151 will still potentially be available on the Pokemon Center, available on store shelves. We just don't know, but basically the allocation numbers for modern Pokemon card products are exorbitantly high. So if you're someone that thinks these products are gonna sell out tomorrow, I would say think again, you're gonna have plenty of time to pick up any of the products from these sets. If you want a master set of Pokemon 151, go for it. I think these products are gonna be readily available. If you're looking to collect something that's starting to get more scarce, I would say go back to the early Sword and Shield era. Go back to some of the older Japanese sets. Things like V Max Climax, Shiny Star V, and V Star Universe are always gonna be popular, and those are probably gonna actually go up in value significantly faster than the English products, just because they don't have those heavy reprint allocations that the English side really has. Like I said, if you look at products from the English side from years ago, Champion's Path, Shining Fates, Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, even older products than that, they are still going for at or below MSRP, or they haven't really budged in years. And that's pretty much the norm for the course for English Pokemon card products, especially the modern stuff. The great news is there's plenty of products to go around for everyone, so I would not worry about Pokemon 151 running out. I have not put in a single pre-order for this set yet because I'm really looking for some really good deals and I think I can get better deals than MSRP, so I'm willing to take that risk. I don't think these are gonna sell out. I'm really confident that I can walk into my local card shop or GameStop on release day of Pokemon 151 and easily be able to pick up an Elite Trainer box, a collection box, or even an Ultra Premium collection at retail price if I wanted to. And if I'm right, I think I can find Ultra Premium collections going for below MSRP before release. So we're just gonna have to see how that goes. Hope this has been insightful. If you have any additional questions, I would love to hear about it. What are your thoughts about all these reprints, restocks, and pretty much the modern Pokemon card market? Because outside of Evolving Skies, which is always the exception, pretty much everything else is still readily available at MSRP. Pretty much everything from the past three years is still available. A product here or there may be above that, but you can probably still find it at retail price on store shelves somewhere. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.